Hi everyone, it's Erin from the Provincial Farmhouse. Thank you for joining me. In today's video, I am using some new products from a brand called Paint Couture. I am so excited to be bringing this range into my store. They have some wonderful products for us crafters to use and I can't wait to show you what I created with them. I've got some thrift flips today. I'm going to be trying out some new techniques and I know a lot of my viewers may already know this brand because they are a US based company. They are new to Australia though, so very excited to be taking on this new brand and I look forward to hearing your thoughts on these products and my projects. I hope that you enjoy today's video. For my first project, I'm going to be giving this tray a makeover. Now I've already sprayed it with Rust-Oleum's Clear Matte Sealer and now I'm going to be using Paint Couture's Angelic Mineral Paint. It's going on really beautifully. This is the first time that I've used this paint and it's going to take two coats to get the coverage that I want. Now this is a all-in-one paint. It has a primer and it also has a built-in top coat. So very excited to be having this in my shop soon. It won't be in the first round of products that I get, but it will be in the second. So as you can see here, that second coat is filling it in beautifully. When my paint is dry, I am going to be using the La Campaign stamp from IOD. I have the beautiful bouquet of flowers stamp, and I'm just going to very carefully position that in the center of my tray. I don't have a backing on there so that I can actually manipulate it into the center of the tray, and then I'm carefully pulling it up. Once that's dry, I'm using the color Vintage Moss. This is also from the Mineral Paint range by Paint Couture, and I'm just going to be going around the edge of my little tray there it's going to be similar to a border and I'm also going to paint the back of the tray as well Remember, you can find a full product list in the description below and I will have these products available for pre-order on my website and hopefully we will have them in store at the end of the month. If you are in the US, however, you will be able to buy these products already from your Paint Couture stockist. Next, I'm going to be using Paint Couture's Crackle Step 1. I'm so excited to have a two-step crackle to use finally. So I'm going to go over my entire tray with Step 1. Now, when you're doing this, you want to think about having it on a little bit thinner if you want thin cracks, a bit thicker if you want big cracks. And then you have to let this dry and wait until it is a little bit tacky for Step 2, which is what I'm coming in with now. I've got a different brush to apply it and I'm going Going to go in and apply it over the top of my first coat. So as I said, you want your first coat to feel tacky. So I'm going to go in and again, I don't want huge cracks, so I'm not going to really pile that product on. But again, this isn't something that you can sort of get exactly perfect. It's going to be quite an organic look. And here, it's a bit tricky to see, but I could tell in the light here that there were some cracks formed once my product was dry. Next, I'm going to be using Van Dyke Brown Antiquing Glaze by Paint Couture. I'm going to go in and apply that with a brush over the top of my dry two-step crackle. And I'm going to cover the whole thing and then come back and wipe it away. This is so exciting to be able to do. I haven't had a product that I could do this with. Usually I had to think about the layers and then have the crackle over the top, but this way I can add a glaze and have that glaze show through as a crackle. So I'm very excited for this product. Cannot wait for you guys to try it as well. So you can see I'm just using a wet wipe here to wipe it away. I even used my Mister. This is a water-based product, so I'm able to thin out that glaze. It is so lovely and thick, and it can also be used as a stain as well. There's lots of beautiful colors in this range, and I can definitely see myself watering it down, which will only make that glaze go a little bit further. Next, I'm going to use Paint Couture's Lux Metallic in bronze. This is such a beautifully, highly pigmented paint. It already has a built-in top coat in it as well. And it's so highly pigmented that I can just use it around the edge here. Ultimately, for full coverage, if you're going to paint something entirely with this product, it will take about two coats depending on your base coat. But this is such a beautiful product. I can see myself using this, especially throughout Christmas. There are so many lovely colors to choose from and I am just a little bit obsessed. And here's a look at the finished product. 
I had so much fun using these new products and I'm really happy with the result. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. For my next project, I'm going to use this little wooden plaque that I thrifted and I'm going to give it two coats of the Paint Couture Angelic Mineral Paint. We used this one at the start as well. So it's going to take two coats to get the coverage I want. This paint is so beautiful and smooth. And like I said, I won't have it in the first round of products available on my website, but I will be adding it shortly. When my paint was completely dry, I used IOD's La Campagne stamp again. This beautiful roses stamp is in that set and I'm very carefully pressing it down. I'm just using IOD permanent black ink. This one is on a backer. I've got a lot of room to manipulate the stamp here so I can have that on the plastic. And I'm just going to change the different angles that I'm applying it. And then I'm also going to add another part of the stamp down the bottom just to extend that that little pattern and that's the thing about these stamps is that you can actually just take bits and pieces that you want from it you don't have to use the whole thing Once my ink was completely dry, I took Paint Couture's Embossing Medium. Very excited about this one. There's a lot of potential here. I'm going to take some of it out of the container and I'm going to put it in a plastic container. This product can be tinted and I am going to be tinting it today with the Lux Bronze Metallic Paint. I'm not going to get a perfect metallic tone, but it is going to make it a little bit easier for me to then go over the top of that again to make it bronze. It's going to take less coats of me going over the top of it. So I'm just going to take several drops of it and add it to my embossing medium and then stir it really well. I'm going to be using this product today with a stencil, but I could definitely see this being used at Christmas time to create the look of snow. So I'm definitely excited to try that. I'm then going to be using JRV's mini jar label stencil. I'm positioning it in the center and you can see I have a little spatula that I'm going to be using. Once I have it where I want it to go, I'm going to take some of that embossing medium and add it to my spatula. And then I'm going to start dragging it over the top of my stencil. I'm holding the stencil down firmly. These JRV stencils are really nice and thick, so they're very easy to work with. I'm just holding my stencil in place, but you could definitely tape it in place or use some sort of a spray adhesive if you're worried about your shifting. So you can see I'm just applying it over the entire stencil and once I have the entire stencil covered that's when I come in and I actually start scraping away the product and you can see I'm scraping and then putting it back in the container. So you don't need much product to do this and then when I'm happy I'll carefully lift straight up. When my embossing medium is dry, I'm going to put my stencil back in place. I've cleaned it to make sure I don't have any excess product. And then I'm going to take some of that Lux Bronze Metallic Paint again, and I'm using a JRV stencil brush, and I'm going to start stenciling over the top. So this is just going to give a lovely raised detail to my stencil. And because I tinted that embossing medium, it's only going to take one coat of this paint to get the finish that I want. Once I've finished my stencil, I'll pull it straight up and you can see that it has given it a beautiful raised detail. Next, I'm gonna take that same bronze paint and I'm going to use a small artist brush and I'm going to go around the edge, the border, of this little plaque that we're working on. And I'm going to add that bronze paint the whole way around. And it's going to take two coats for me to get full coverage. When my paint was dry, I grabbed that crackle step one again, and I'm going to apply one coat over the top of my plaque. I'm going to let that dry for about 30 minutes, and when it's tacky, I'm going to come in with step two.
Once my step two is dry, I'm going to grab that Van Dyke Brown Glaze again. And you can see I'm just putting a little bit into a plastic container and I'm going to water it down with my mister. This is just going to make it a, a little bit lighter, less intense. So I'm stirring that. And then I'm going to apply that to my pluck. And this time it's going to take less wiping for me to get the look I want. So I'm going to work in sections, adding the product and then grabbing a wet wipe and wiping it away. So wherever I don't want it to be as dark, I will wipe more. I could if I want to come in with my mister to further dilute the product. This will just be something that you will do to your liking and you don't have to use an antiquing glaze for this step. I'm just really having a lot of fun with this today. And here's our finished plaque. I love how this turned out. I'm having so much fun using these new products. That embossing medium is a game changer. I can't wait for you guys to try it as well. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. For my final project today, I'm working on this little ceramic bird that I got and I'm going to be painting the entire piece in that angelic white mineral paint. I'm going to paint it all one color so that it's all one even tone for our next step. When my paint was completely dry, I grabbed that beautiful bronze metallic paint again, and I am going to give this piece two coats of this gorgeous paint. And it is beautiful how the colors bring out the details in the bird, all those lovely feathers and the creases and crevices. It's just all really beautiful when it has that bronze paint on it. With some metallics that I've used in the past, I've had to put a complementary color underneath in order for me to get that opaque look. But with this one, you don't have to. So I'm very excited to have these and there are so many colors to choose from. And there are two different sizes. It comes in a two ounce and a four ounce, which is perfect for crafters. And as I said, I think these are going to be perfect for Christmas projects. When my paint had completely dried, I grabbed some of that Van Dyke Brown Glaze. I wanna give this piece more of a vintage aged look. Now that paint is looking absolutely gorgeous, but again, I want this to look aged and rustic and right now it just looks too perfect and new. So I'm applying the product and then I'm using a paper towel to dab off some of the excess. And I'm gonna continue until I have painted the entire piece. And here's a look at our finished bird statue. I love how this turned out. It was such a pleasure to work with that beautiful metallic paint. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. I really hope that you've enjoyed today's video and that it's given you some ideas on how you can use the beautiful Paint Couture products. I hope it's inspired you to try them. Let me know if you had a favorite project from today. If you enjoyed today's video, I would really appreciate it if you would hit that like button, comment and share. If you haven't already, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. You can find the products used today on our website, theprovincialfarmhouse.com.au. Thanks for watching.